Hello and welcome to another video from Dark Industry. The subject of today's discussion is the latest unveiled missile in Iran and its specifications. Also we will discuss about the power of this missile and its ability to carry nuclear warheads and its physical and psychological effect on countries that do not have good relations with Iran, including Israel. So if you are interested in such topic, like the video and subscribe to channel for more videos. The long-range strategic missile and point-spot missile of the Revolutionary Guards Air Force, Kaber Buster, were unveiled on Wednesday morning 9 February, in the presence of the Chief of Staff General of the Armed Forces and the Commander of the Revolutionary Guards Air Force. According to Revolutionary Guards commanders, this missile is one of the third generation of Revolutionary Guards missiles. Kaber Buster uses solid fuel and through this, is able to reach a range and a radius of 1,450 kilometers. The weight of this missile has been reduced to one-third compared to the previous models, and its preparation time has been reduced to one-sixth. Some experts estimate the missile to be 800 mm in diameter and 10 meters long, after the images of Kaber Buster were published. Pictures showed that Kaber Buster are also dual-purpose just like many other Iranian missiles. The presence of a large number of dual launchers carrying the Kaber Buster missile in the IRGC missile city refers to the words of the IRGC aerospace commander the previous day, who said. We will unveil a new strategic missile soon. This strategic missile has been built and has been in our organization for a long time. Maneuverability to pass through a missile shield should be considered as its distinctive feature. The chief of general staff of the armed forces said about the Kaber Buster missile. We will continue the path of growth, promotion and quantitative and qualitative excellence of the missile power of the Islamic Republic of Iran. The commander of the Revolutionary Guards Air Force also said. In the conditions of recent wars, with this capability that has been obtained for us, we will actually be able to use this type of missile, which has high maneuverability in the final phase, to reach conflicting targets reaching a distance of 1450 kilometers for a spot hit. Kaber Buster should be considered the newest member of the FATA missile family, the family that constitutes the new generation of Iranian missiles. Families who have been involved in important operations and exercises for many years. We will review Iran's missile program and various Iranian missiles in another video. To not miss this video, you can now subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. Although not much information has been given about this missile, some results can be obtained according to the published images. The first thing that stands out in this missile is the relatively larger dimensions of the moving warheads. This increase in the dimensions of the warhead increases the maneuverability of the warhead after entering the atmosphere and allows more complex and faster maneuvers to effectively cross the defensive barrier. Atmospheric anti-aircraft missile, which is specific to defense systems such as the Israeli Falcon David and the US Patriot missiles. Maneuverable detachable warheads MARVs, maneuver when they enter the Earth's atmosphere with the help of their bolts, which reduce their kinetic energy and, of course, their velocity during the maneuver. It is not observed that as a result of performing heavy maneuvers to neutralize the enemy's air defense, at the moment of impact the warhead speed is estimated to be about Mach 2 to 3. As it is shown in this picture, you can see an example of such a maneuver in which the warhead hit the target, with more than 90 degrees change of angle to its trajectory. It is also observed that the radiance and burning resulting from the aerodynamic heating of the missile warhead gradually decreases after the maneuver, and there is no radiance in the last moments. The Kaber Buster missile warhead configuration is of the conic tri type, which is used to maintain warhead stability during heavy maneuvers. Of course, the amount of drag force in this configuration is a bit higher, but increasing the amount of drag force in the warhead of this missile in order to achieve maneuverability. So they preferred accurate and official information on the dimensions of the Kaber Buster missile, such as length, diameter, weight, warhead weight, etc., has not been yet provided, but according to the estimates based on the published images, the length of the Kyber missile is estimated at 5.10 meters and its diameter is 80 centimeters. Also, as the commander of the IRGC Air Force says, the weight of this missile is one-third of similar missiles assuming the weight of the Gator S missile as a similar missile. It can be concluded that the weight of the Kaber Buster missile with a warhead of 500 kg is 5.4 tons, which is very ideal for a tactical ballistic missile with a range of 1450 kilometers. 
On the other hand, the reason for this low weight can be considered the use of composite body, which has been evident in IRGC products in recent years, and the example is the ROD 500 composite body missile and Zuhair, Salman and Rafi composite engines. Examination of the published images of the Kaber Buster missile shows the significant acceleration of this missile after launch, which indicates the high speed of the rocket before leaving the Earth's atmosphere, so that the rocket reaches high speeds of 4 to 5, 4 to 5 before leaving the atmosphere. How the bulbs burn due to aerodynamic heating in the seconds after launch is well known. Such high acceleration greatly reduces the effects of deceleration due to the gravitational force of the Earth, which ultimately leads to an increase in the range of the rocket. Also, by carefully examining the warhead, there are signs of black ramps in front of the bulbs. The reason for using these ramps is to create a flow separation zone, in which the effect of aerodynamic heating on the shaft connecting the bulb to the actuator decreases with decreasing air density, reduces and prevents it from melting. Another issue in the study of Kaber Buster missile is the type of warhead that, according to the published images, the warhead is of the type of explosive type. Also, according to the commander of the IRGC Air Force, materials have been used in Kaber Buster's warhead, which has increased its explosive power several times more than TNT. Of course, considering the name of this missile, it is possible to consider the possibility of developing trench-breaking warheads for this missile as well. Finally, the Kaber Buster missile when compared to its western and eastern competitors, in terms of technological capabilities, still counts as old, although the new upgrades pose a serious threat to Israel, because the use of solid fuel in the missile has lessened the time to prepare. Meaning at the same time more missiles are being prepared to be launched. The use of composite materials and reducing the weight of the missile makes this missile can carry a heavier warhead and has a more destructive effect. However, considering the dimensions and portable weight of this missile, it can be said that this missile cannot carry a nuclear warhead. Increasing the maneuverability of the warhead is also one of the issues that challenges Israel's air defenses, but in the field of military technology, all countries are trying to upgrade their equipment, and Israel is updating its defenses against the increase of Iran's missile capability. This is all that can be said about this missile, and if any further news about Iran's military industry is published, we will make a new video about it, so subscribe to the channel and stay tuned, so you would not miss the new videos.